Hey, what's up guys? My name is Raf. I am the lead editor of DV and I'm very excited to talk about acquiring the new 3080 RTX NVIDIA graphics card. Hold on, hold on. And there it is. So the way I acquired this graphics card, it only took staring at my computer for long periods of time, getting notifications from like five, six different Twitter accounts and like other extensions in my computer of any graphics card popping up, hoping that one of them would be the RTX and Founders Edition. That's the main one I wanted. The thing is that that one was only sold at Best Buy, so it just was even harder. But I finally got it. And now what I want to do is very simple. I just want to test out the difference between exporting a video with this card and exporting the same exact video with the same settings with my current card, the 1070 Founders Edition. These are my current specs. Yes, they are a bit outdated, but I am currently working on building a new PC for work. And gaming, I, I only tell Dan that it's for work, but it's, it's for both. He's, he's, he's behind the camera. It's all for gaming. This is why I'm <laughs> so motivated to do this. No one is fooled. Okay, it's, it's, it's for both, it's for both. So I'm gonna put this away for now. I have already the 1070 set up here and then we're gonna switch to the 3080. This video was shot in UHD ProRes 422 with the Red Komodo. It's 15 minutes long, it has like effects, it has music, it has titles, it has uh, an motion graphics here and there, so it's pretty heavy. And we're gonna see how long it takes. I'm gonna export it in H.264. Gonna be 4K UHD. I'm gonna do render at maximum depth, use maximum render quality, and then I'm gonna do 30 bit rate. And off we go. So that only took 20 minutes to export. Not bad for a five year old graphics card. So now we're gonna switch them out. I'm gonna put the 3080 in my computer. We're gonna re export the same exact video and see how much faster it is or slower. God, I hope it's faster. Oh, that was a, not a cheap investment. <laughs> Oh, it's just so interesting to look at the design choices. This one's just more slick and it looks more, it's looking modern. This one is just looks like alien shit. <laughs> look at that. It's so different. I was only doing this for the, for the thumbnail. Okay, ready? And, okay. <sighs> All right. Now, we're gonna turn this on. Hopefully it turns on, this is the scariest part. And then we're gonna test it out. We got the 3080 installed on the computer. So now we're gonna export the same video with the same settings, and we're gonna see how much faster it is. Same thing, 30, okay. All right, here we go. And, go. Uh, Put the mic down. Put the mic down. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? It, <laughs> it was about a minute faster. <laughs> it, it was 19 minutes. I'm not if. satisfied with the result. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a more dramatic difference, but obviously this is not the only way to like test how much faster the graphics card is. Early on, we, we just skimmed through the timeline at a full resolution, because I usually just edit in one fourth or one eighth, depending on, on the actual uh, resolution of the of what we shot. And it skimmed through just fine. So like that's another test to take into account that like playback is gonna be a lot smoother. We also gotta take into consideration that every editing software or effects software uses the GPU differently. But you know, it was still an interesting test to do and just see what the results are. And so this video ends in one big disappointment. All that time wasted. All that money spent. All that money spent. Was it really all for nothing?
Hi, I'm back. It's been a couple months since the first half of the video. It's been a couple months since the first half of the video, and that's because I, after doing a little bit more research, I found out that basically my CPU was bottlenecking my GPU. But if we're being honest, my whole computer was bottlenecking my GPU. It was, it's like a, almost a five year old computer. So what we decided to do was wait until I get all the parts from my new build and was able to finally build my new editing setup. So these are the current specs now. Pretty big difference from the old ones. So now we did the same test again with both graphics cards in the new build. Here are the results. So I'm going from old computer to new computer. The 1070 on the old computer took about 20 minutes to export the video. On the new computer, it took 14 minutes and eight seconds. That's a six minute difference. That's pretty good. I mean, it, it took a whole new build of a computer, but that's still a pretty big difference in just exporting. With the 3080, if you remember, it took 19 minutes with the old computer. Not much of a difference from when we did it with the 1070, but with the new computer, it took 12 minutes and 18 seconds. That's eight minutes faster from the 1070 and the old computer and seven minutes faster from using the 3080 on the old computer to the new one. So now going to comparing just the graphics cards in the new computer, it's about less than two minutes of difference exporting, which is not a big difference, but you can see a difference there. Even with hardware acceleration, Premiere still doesn't use the GPU that much. It still mostly uses the CPU. We're just gonna leave them there. So what these results taught me was, if you're planning on building a new computer or upgrading from your old computer, try to put more into buying a faster CPU than a GPU. If you can do both, that's great. But if you can only choose one for editing specifically, I would say go for the faster CPU and then work on the GPU. Cause you know, as you can see, that's what's most important. if you're exporting in Premiere specifically, I can't speak on behalf of DaVinci or Avid. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. We're hopefully going to be making more videos from now on and I'll see you on the next one.